Hello friends. Welcome back to our channel. I am your Catalan Studio Instructor and my name is Kumaresh. Thank you for connecting with us. Hope you are doing well. Let's start our today's session. Today, we are going to learn about the different approaches to create automated test cases. The Catalan Studio allows us to create a test cases in three different approaches or modes. Those are Record and Playback Mode Test cases are created using the recording feeders. Manual Mode Automated test steps are created by selection of appropriate keywords and actions. Script Mode Test cases are developed using the scripting languages such as Java, Groovy etc. Throughout this video, we will explain each of the approaches with hands-on demonstration. The demonstrations will be done for a web application and we will automate this basic manual test steps. The steps are Launch the URL in a new Chrome browser session which is https colon slash slash catalone click on the make appointment button verify the login label in new page and close the browser all right let's start with record and playback mode of test case creation in this mode the automated test cases are created through the recording feature of catalan studio we can record any applications related to web, windows, and mobile. In this tutorial, we will show the recording features for the web application only. We can record the manual test steps in any browsers. Before recording, we need to install the corresponding web driver from Update Web Driver option which is available under Menu Option Tools. The features of Record and Playback mode are Quick test case development without having prior automation knowledge. The objects and actions are captured automatically while recording the manual test steps. Test cases can be enhanced after recording for adding verification points, test data parameterization, modularizations etc. Easy to replay or execute the recorded test cases on any browser. First, we will create an empty test case before recording. It can be created either from the File New Test Case menu option, or right-click and select the New Test Case option. Enter the test case name in New Test Case window and click on OK button to create. Select the newly created test case and start the recording by clicking on Record Web button. Web Recorder window will be available now. Enter the web address of test application in URL field. We will select the appropriate browser here for recording. Expand to view the captured recorded steps. Once the application appears, manually click on Make Appointment button to record the steps. Each of the recorded steps are auto-populated in the recording wizard. Click on Login Element to capture the corresponding object for verification. Now click on Add button to insert an action. Select the checkpoint action as Verify element present. To perform verification. Assign the object as H2 underscore login from captured object window. We can add some timeout value under input column corresponding to this verification step. Now we can stop the recording as the planned manual steps are recorded. The close browser step immediately added after stopping the recording session. While saving the script by clicking on Save Script button, a window with title Add Element to Object Repository will appear to manage the captured objects during recording. The recorded script is available now with the desired steps including launching URL, click on Make Appointment button, 
verify login label and close browser. Okay. Let's understand the manual mode of test case creation. In this mode, automated test steps are created by selection of appropriate keywords and actions. The features of manual mode are Manually define the keywords and actions for each steps. Objects need to be captured manually prior to test case creation. Keywords can be dragged and dropped easily. Dot easy to replay slash execute the test cases in any browser. Again, we will create an empty test case for manual mode of test case development in Catalan Studio. We need to add the actions manually which will be similar to the recorded test case. We will use the existing objects here. Click on Add to Insert Action Item as Open Browser to launch the browser. Then add another action as Navigate to URL and assign the input value as the web URL. It will invoke the web application. Now add another action item as click which will perform the click operation. Click on object field to open test object input window. We will select the object for make appointment button. We will add the verification step for login label in the same way that we have done during recording. Finally, we will add the step for close browser. The test case is now created with steps including launching URL, click on make appointment button, verify login label and close browser. Now we will understand the script mode of test case creation. In this mode, test cases are developed using the scripting languages such as Java, Groovy etc. The features of script mode are Create automated test cases through scripting approach. Scripting language as Java or Groovy can be used. Keywords can be dragged and dropped easily. Dot easy to replay slash execute the test cases in any browser. Similarly, we will create an empty test case for script mode of test case development approach in Catalan Studio. Initially this test case is empty. We will click on the script tab option which is located in bottom of test design section. By default script section is populated with import statements. We will paste the scripts here. Each line of statements refer the individual steps. The manual section shows the corresponding action items. The Simly test case is now created using the script mode. We will learn more about scripts later. We will now execute any of the test case to show that the test case was developed properly. To start execution, we need to select any of the test case. Click on the down arrow which is located beside Run button to choose the browser. The execution starts immediately after selection of browser. This section shows the execution process. Browser will launch now and navigate to the application URL through the automation. Then script will perform the steps accordingly and end the execution. The high-level default execution summary will be available in the log viewer section. It contains log for each of the test step. 
Thanks for watching this video. That's all about different approaches to develop test cases. We will learn more about automated test case creation in upcoming videos. Please visit our website lambdageeks.com for more articles on technology, engineering, mathematics, and various other domain. You can check our other website as well. We have features like YouTube Trends, Twitter Trends, Scientific Calculator, and many more other tools. If you like our video, please like, comment and share. If you have any questions, please comment and we will resolve your query.